First in was the South South region. Uh, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources Tibi Pre Silva has urged indigents of Kula Kingdom to be more accommodating towards promoting peace in the land. Uh, this came after the minister appealed to women in the community during the handover of OML 25 facility to an indigenous oil company for operation, which they shut down for two years. It was a moment of joy for the people of Kula Kingdom as a shell facility was handed over to Belema Oil, which is owned by an indigent of the community. During the groundbreaking ceremony, the minister said the harmonious relationship with the community has come to stay. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mele Kiari, said the immediate priority of government is to ensure peace lasts in the community to help bring development. I have told members of this community that I have met that we need unity in the land today. We have fought. We have fought to this point. And the federal government at least has started looking our way. It is time for us to change strategy and to ensure that we begin to bring the benefits of investments to our community. I'm happy that when we start with Belema Oil, my younger brother Jack and Shell, we said, look, we have to end this so that the community can have peace. We are not looking for money, we are not looking for oil. We are looking for peace for this community. Now, the founder of Belema Oil, Jack Rich Tain, and the traditional ruler of Kula Kingdom thanked President Muhammad Buhari for listening to the yearnings of the people as it shows his concern for the well being of the Niger Delta region. Former military governor of River State, Alfred Yate Spief, called on both Rivers and Bayosa State governors to create interventionist agencies like other oil producing states in the country. You can see for sure that the community is happy. Uh, if, if you can see that the whole youth are very happy because they're going to have jobs. I mean, if we fail to put a platform that enables you know, business to thrive in this part of the country, then we have a major challenge. You know what I'm trying to say? It's an important project. Uh, the president is very happy about the community. The president has really helped us. He has encouraged me to help the communities. And we're also doing a lot for the 90 dollar communities. Today, the OML 25 has been reopened. And the, the most interesting aspect of it is that it's not just reopened, but our son, engineer, Jack Christine Jr., is really the operator of the OML 25. They have their license quite all right, but we're in charge of maintenance, employment, and everything. Oh, we're all very happy. Um, the nation needs the oil at this time, and um, it's good that decisions are taken positive decisions and the government has shown that it's got a, a listening air and has taken this bold step and we're all here to celebrate it. 